Well, it's something interesting I've noticed about um, people in my line of work, working as music editors, is that, you know, it's, it's the sort of thing that there isn't necessarily specific training for it, um, a specific course. I mean, one can actually take journalism courses, which I wouldn't advise against, uh, if just to learn the basic technical rules of, uh, of journalism and of writing. Um, but I should point out now that I have no journalistic training. Uh, I studied uh, creative arts and commercial art, commercial design, um, and also created a lot of comics. And uh, I think working in those mediums did teach me some basic rules about creativity. Um, and I think no matter what one goes into in terms of the creative arts, it's, uh, it's good to occasionally fool around in other mediums, if only to get a, a larger perspective on what the, the overarching rules, the overarching rules of, of creativity are. Um, and I think I'm, I'm, I'm right to use the word creativity uh, in the context of music journalism. Um, creativity in the context of hard news journalism uh, is as often as not lying <laughs> or distorting the facts. Um, however, music journalism being much more uh, subjective uh, is the same sort of rules don't apply. Um, so my best advice to a young person who's, who's thinking, hey, I'd like to be a music editor, uh, the first thing I tell them is, before you do that, spend a few years as a music journalist. Um, it's very difficult to, uh, to be an effective leader, because a music editor, you are basically a leader of a group of people. Uh, it's very difficult to lead anyone uh, if you haven't, at some point, done what they're doing. Um, and then... Uh, to move on to the next level to be a music editor, which still does involve some music writing, um, there are certain things one has to give up. You have to get used to the idea of getting up at a certain hour and putting certain hours in at the office. The, uh, some of the joys of freelance work, uh, dragging your ass out of bed at noon, uh, staying up all hours, keeping a you know, weird schedule, uh, being free to take off, leave the city for a couple of days if you want, this sort of thing. Those kind of evaporate when you take a, uh, a job as an editor. But it does have its own rewards as well. Uh, you're sort of a meta-creator in the sense that you're steering different creators around to make a larger creative whole. Um, I'm, you know, overjoyed every week when I'm able to look at my music section and say, you know what, I did the best job I could. You know, I got all the right pieces in place and covered as much of Montreal's music scene as I felt was appropriate and uh, in the best way possible. Um, naturally, there there is always the possibility uh, when you're in uh, college or university of signing up with your student paper. Um, that's a good training ground. In fact, uh, I would advise anyone who wants to go into journalism of any sort to sign up with their student paper and just learn how that machine works because there are a lot of technical considerations that I think people don't always realize uh, when they come into the journalist uh, environment, uh, the deadlines, the things like word count, things like uh, formatting, all these kind of things that are very, very, uh, very, very specific and very, very regimented, um, because it's uh, you know putting out a newspaper is as much as anything a technical process, uh, the printing, the editing, so on and so forth. Uh, so to get a good grasp of that helps tremendously. Um, and uh, I think another thing is also uh, to sort of, uh, as a writer, to try and explore things outside of music. Uh, try writing about film now and then. Try writing about uh, an art form. Hey, ideally an art form that you don't even like that much. Try writing about mime. Try interviewing a mime. Good luck. Um, but uh, if only to give yourself sort of a perspective on your own skills, uh, learn what you're best at and what your weaknesses are, and um, to, just to get a better sense of how this, this process works. Because an editor is really about, as much about sort of keeping the process flowing smoothly as it is about creativity.